make a party out of it. Okay, let's have it Friday night. Is that okay with everybody? Yeah, sure. Yeah. But what are we going to eat? Junior, all you think of is eating. Oh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no fooling. What are we going to have to eat? Well, I'll bring some Cokes. Why don't you bring the sandwiches? Okay. I'll get Mother to make some potato salad. You might as well have the party over at my house. Swell. Sure. Sure. Okay, you girls bring the eats and we'll bring the records. That'll be well, swell. Okay. Well, I gotta go class now. So long. Bye. 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 Susan? Susan Jane? What's the matter with you? Why is everyone else having such a good time when you're not? Why do they always leave you out? Do you look different? Is it some way you act? What makes you the outsider? The outsider, the one nobody asks. Golly, this assignment will take us all night. Why don't you come over at my house and we'll work it out together? Well, I'll see you about seven. Okay. Susan, Susan Jane, you make good grades. You could really help them. Why don't they ask you? Even in things you're good at, why do they make you the outsider? Well, look, if it hadn't been for what they did in the ninth inning, we'd be okay. Yeah, but did you see Joe out in center field? Hi, Marcy. Hi, Dad. Oh, hello, Susan. Hi, Susan Jane. What do you know? Nothing much. And did you see Okay, that? if I sit down? Sure, go ahead, sit down. Let me tell you what this guy said. It's a scream. He said every one of our team was left foot. <laughs> He said, look at this south. What you folks going to have this afternoon? Hi, Jimmy. I want a root beer. A chocolate ice cream cone, please. That's what I want, too, a chocolate ice cream cone. Oh, I believe I've changed my mind. I want a chocolate ice cream cone, too. Why do the other kids do everything differently? They choose different things. They stick together on everything. Why are you always the one who's out of step? Is there something the matter with you? Yeah, I know. The rattling's supposed to be on. Oh, is it? Good. Here you are. Oh, thank you. Well, what in the world's the matter with her? I don't know. Suppose we said something? We didn't say anything to her. Maybe that's the matter. She's a funny girl. I don't think she likes us. Say, what's the matter with us? Maybe more than you think. We might have tried to say something to her. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. How flat is that? Too bad the second page is terrible. I'm afraid I flop mine. Hi. Hi, Junior. Figured out what you're going to eat at the party tonight? Sure. Make mine a super duper special, will you, Jimmy? Just plenty of everything. That's all I want. <laughs> Say, what's the matter, Marcy? Oh, nothing. I just don't understand that, Susan Jane Smith. We were sitting here eating our ice cream cones, and all of a sudden she just jumps up and leaves. Who's Susan Jane Smith? Oh, you know, that quiet girl in our homeroom. The one who sits in front of Freddie. Oh. Oh, that one. Mousy. I think she's stuck up. She won't even speak to me, and I sit right behind her. I don't think she's stuck up. I think she's probably just scared of you. Scared of him? Scared huh. of me? What for? I don't know anybody that's scared of me. Well, just the same. I'll bet that's the trouble. I'll bet she'd be a lot of fun. Oh, just... forget her. Let's all go over to Lois's and look at television. Yeah, I'll okay. Say, how about my super duper special? Hey, fellas, wait for me. I thought I heard you come. Why, Susan, what's the matter? <laughs> Nothing. Just leave me alone, Mother. <laughs> Susan Jane, something is the matter, and I want to know what it is. Now tell me. It's no use, Mother. <laughs> it's something you can't help. I must be different. I just don't fit in. <laughs> Why, of course you're different, dear. Everybody is. No, everybody's not different. Oh, maybe they look different or dress different, but most people, the kids at school, seem to be long. They plan parties together and do homework together, and they all choose chocolate ice cream cones. 
chocolate ice cream cones? Why, Susan, that doesn't make sense. Have they left you out of something? If that's it, we can have some of your friends over Friday and... Oh, Mother, you don't understand. Can't you see? Nobody'd come to my party. They're having a party of their own, and I'm not in on it. I don't want you to give me a party. I want to go to theirs. I want to have fun with them. I want... Oh, what's the use? Nobody can help me. Not even you. Nobody can help you, Susan Jane? Maybe you can. Sometimes it's hard to figure out why things happen the way they do. But sometimes there's a very simple answer. You were just standing there in the hall the next day. All alone, weren't you? The way you always are. And you heard the girls talking. You thought they were talking about you. Oh, no, we can't ask her. She's a creep. Susan, Susan Jane, who's a creep? Who are they talking about? You said it. She'd wilt everything. Can't you just see her not opening her mouth all evening, sitting there like a pole? Why can't she relax? And the clothes she wears. It'd be different if she'd just put herself out a little, but oh no, she's too wrapped up in herself for that. Susan Jane, wait a minute. They're not talking about you. But you didn't wait to hear that, did you? We just can't ask Miss Simpkins to be the chaperone at our party. We've got to get someone else. All right, we'll ask Miss Hatfield. Sure, she'd be fun. Say, Lois, why don't we ask Susan Jane Smith to come, too? Why? Oh, I don't know. It's just that something happened down at the drugstore. I think I told you about it. Maybe, maybe she feels the way I did once. Maybe we ought to be a little nicer to her. Suit yourself. The party's at your house. Hello? Yes, this is Susan Jane. Marcy? Marcy Clark? Yes. Say, Susan, we're talking about having a party over here at my house Friday night. Not a real big one, just a bunch of us. Everybody's bringing something to eat. Why don't you come over? You could bring a cake. Nobody's bringing that yet. But, but I thought you... Oh, no, I just couldn't. <laughs> Hello, Susan Jane. Hello? Hello? Susan Jane? Susan Jane, what is it? I can't go. I just can't do it. They called me a creep. They said I'd willed everything. They said all kinds of mean things about me. And now they're inviting me to their party just so they can make fun of me. Mrs. Smith, I'm Marcy Clark. Oh, yes. I must have said something to Susan Jane. I don't know what it is, but I'm worried. Marcy, Susan Jane has the idea that you kids were talking about her. She thinks that you invited her to your party just because you felt sorry for her. Oh, no. May I see her? Yes, of course. Talkiness. I thought you were talking about me. But we weren't. We don't even think that about you. Susan Jane, I want to be your friend. Will you come to our party? Yes, I will. Gee, you must think I'm pretty silly. No, because I felt the same way lots of times. You? Well, I have. I'll see you Friday. And don't forget to bring the cake. Gee, to think I could be so wrong about Marcy and Lois. And if I was wrong about them, I might be wrong about a lot of other things, too. Sure, I'm different from Marcy and the rest of the kids, but then they're different from each other, too. They make friends easily. Guess I'll have to work hard at it. And I'm going to start working on it right now. Susan? Mother, they've invited me, and I'm going. And this time, I'm going to try to make them like me. I'm going to fix up. I'm going to join in and not hang back. I'm going to be friendly. I'm going to like them and... Oh, Mother, do you think that'll make them like me? Well, it's certainly a start, Susan Jane. Yes, I think this may be your chance. Oh, well. 
Well, is everything set for the big feed? If you mean the party, it's all set. Just like we planned. With one addition, Marcy's invited Susan Jane Smith. Susan, Susan Jane Smith? Why her? Well, why not? I don't know. I just never thought of her fitting in with us. Neither did I. But, gee, we'll all be there, and if everybody's there, we ought to have a good time. Let's give her a try. She may not be so bad. We don't even know her. We'll find out. Well, Susan Jane, this is your big moment. The moment you've been waiting for. This is your chance to show the gang what you really are. You've fixed your hair and have on a pretty dress. You've even found a book on what to do to make people like you. And you've made up your mind not to act like an outsider. But is this enough? Will it work? Will you do the right things? Will you say the right things? Will the gang accept you, Susan Jane? Will they do the right things? Susan Jane? Yes, Mother? It's about time for you to go. 